Audi shows a new speedster to fanboys, there's trouble for the British Grand Prix, and Lexus takes aim at Ferrari. I'm Alex Gazella, and this is Fast Lane Daily. If you know high-performance Volkswagens and Audis, you know the Wuerthersee Tour. That's the big meetup of Volkswagen GTI nuts that happens each spring in a country we like to call Austria. Last year, VW shocked the world when it rolled out a GTI show car powered by a 650 horsepower W12. This year, Audi says it's showing off two models, one of which has been in the rumor mill just last week. That's a close to production version of the Audi TT Club Sport Quattro concept it revealed at last year's event. Earlier this week, the UK's car magazine reported the TT Club Sport would be offered as a limited production model, but only in the Middle East. Audi officials also hinted at a short run of the Speedster style TT, but revealed no definite production plans. And race fans in the UK may be out of one Grand Prix. Formula One Uber boss Bernie Ecclestone is reportedly playing hardball with the UK's British Racing Drivers Club. That's the group promoting the British Grand Prix. According to the Daily Telegraph, Ecclestone remitted a $22 million a year fee and demanded the circuit make costly repairs to its paddock and pit areas. The club reportedly asked for a discount, but Ecclestone isn't budging. And that could mean no British Grand Prix in 2010 and we're fairly sure that'll go over like a budgie reunion. Next up, will the Lexus LFA go for Ferrari F430 money? That's in the internet rumor mill after this. On the next Garage 419. You're not even squealing the tires yet. There, oh, beautiful. Man, Feel that? Right around, yeah. New episodes of Garage 419, Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> Love Fastlane Daily? Love your TV? Well, now you can get your FLD fix on TiVo, so it can be fast and fresh whenever you want it. Too much of a nerd to use a TV? We're also on YouTube and VO2. Check us out. But of course, you already are. Hm. Well, thanks for that. It's already appeared at auto shows and the Nürburgring. But will the Lexus LFA ever make it to dealerships? Edmunds Inside Line says yes, it will. But don't expect to get one for super money. Word from company insiders is the LFA will go out the door for more than $200,000, and according to one report, it could reach as high as 225 grand. That means the LFA will vault over the Audi R8 and challenge the Ferrari F430 on its own turf. Final specs haven't been released, but Inside Line says the LFA will get power from a 5-liter V10 producing in range of 500 horsepower. Lexus says it'll come in both coupe and roadster and top out somewhere north of 200 miles per hour. If you're in Germany, you can see the Lexus LFA in action as it competes in the 24-hour Nürburgring endurance race in the old country this weekend. Well, that wraps up Fast Lane Daily for today. I'm Alex Gazella, and we'll see you next time.